the only thing in the world that's more hard than all the job I've mentioned is betting. Betting there, that cost stay. I mean, the person who blink betting, if you blink him right now, he can't win anymore. Bet Jesus. Bet Jesus. Yes, you go bet. Yes, you show me. Yes, you show me. Yes, you show me. What brother? My. First off, if you are offended by what I'm about to say, then I apologize. Oh. I'm apologizing because I'm feeling guilty or I feel bad or I'm not understanding. I'm apologizing because you are a crybaby and you cannot tolerate other people's opinion. You can't handle the truth! Thank you. There's a commentary on uh, entertainment review on Pisa from Kesha Baji. Um, this is the 23rd October edition. And um, I started off with an interview with a man called Ben Mamu. He, um, a, he's a learned musician who learned um, his trade in uh, Amsterdam. I think he mentioned it. And he's embarking on a high life restoration project. I mean, the goal is to, you know, bring back high life, according to him, and make high life appealing to the um, the youth. Oh, really? So yeah, I think it's a nice idea. I think it's it will bring um, an identity to young musicians and an identity as a music identity to Ghana. And, uh, I mean, during the discussion, he made a point which I would like us to, to watch and uh, think about. And uh, I will play it in the next video. Describe the types of her life and what it does. Because, for instance, Palogo came in the 70s. Palogo came after her life came. That's all we don't know. Other music like Bobobo also came. So, out of the her life Are tradition, saying... yes. I, yes. For sure. Yes. That that's that's one Palo thing that. Boy, boy, yeah, yeah. Yes. In fact, the guy that made the palogo and the dance, he was called to the Ministry of Culture to answer because he was he, he, apparently he was not yes or say youth. You know. Yes. So that's what we. That, you see, these are some of the uh, parts of the history that uh, is not is not made clear. This is news to me. Yes. You should you should read about it. Okay. Hang on. Me and you, I'm just waiting. This. So he made a point that um, palogo at a point was um, considered as um, uh, a vice or should I say um, a medium that would uh, be used to um, distract or influence the youth negatively at that time in the 70s. And so after he said that I went on um, I went on the internet, I went on Wikipedia to find it out and I found that it was true, what he said was true. And it got me thinking. Um, recently, I've been telling you that I've been reading this book called The Law of Human Nature, which was written by Robert Green. And this man went on a lecture and he made something about the cycles of culture, which keeps um, going on and on and on. And he said something about um, uh, every um, generation has four different, every era has four different types of generations, which um, has people like the older generation conflicting with the younger generation and the older generations are there to preserve the present culture and the younger generations are there to destroy it and it got to my attention and I was like so at that time Palungo was like the now um, normal music the urban music we play right now which the older generations aren't accepted I mean, I think now it's okay, but at first when hip life came, it was a problem altogether, seeing they are destroying our music, and I remember one time, somebody came on the show saying that now the music they play doesn't make sense and all that. So, now that we are fighting to, you know, in this era, the older generation are fighting, or should I say the baby boomers and the Gen X, are fighting to keep the... the 
which was at a point, you know, something that was seen as uh, unholy. Anyway, um, let's watch the video of Robert Green's lecture, and uh, that will actually explain it. For, that will actually explain it well. One time, there were four generations that are alive. Um, each, the 22 years, there might be a fifth generation, but they're getting pretty old and they're dying off. So the, the two youngest generations are the ones that are, un, that are kind of unsettled. They don't like the way the world is. They want to change. They want to create new values, new fashions, new styles. They're generating all of this energy for change. The two older generations want to stop that. They want to hold on to the past. They want to conserve and preserve the traditions that they inherited. And these two seismic forces are continually clashing, creating a spirit of the time, a zeitgeist. The other thing is with generations is they follow this incredible pattern that people have discovered, have uh, written about for many years. So there will be a generation that will be known as the revolutionary generation, in which it overturns all of the previous ideas and values and creates a true revolution. This will be followed by a generation that tries to preserve that revolution and kind of turn it into something a little more rational and sane. This will be followed by a very conservative generation that has lost touch with the revolution, but it's just basically all about safety and keeping what happened in the past. This will be followed by a crisis generation, which gets so, is so sick of the stagnant situation and of the values they've inherited that, that, that they're very unhappy and dissatisfied. And this leads to the revolutionary generation on and on and on and on and on and we can see this cycle continue. yeah so that's it and um, yeah Karl Marx also viewed um, the society as two conflicting classes that means he believes that the society is um, in order for the society to function there need to be classes that are um, conflicting so um, um, in relating to the situation the two um, the two other generations, we, uh, which is right now the baby boomers and the Gen Xs versus the millennials and the Gen Zs. Anyway, um, I think those are a bit technical and uh, you need to read more on these things. Um, yeah, and uh, I think um, after that, they also looked at um, a video that Stephanie Benson made. And I uh, wish I'll get a video so we watch. So, um, yeah, I think I'll get a video. So, um, that's the next one. I'll talk about it later. Ghana is not currently supported in your region. Play Afrobeat music. Play Afrobeat music. Afrobeat, yeah, but way, we can't kind of highlight music. nothing. Just say. <laughs> Ghanaian highlight music. I couldn't find any Ghanaian highlight songs. Huh? Just Ghana, just Ghanaian. Get rid of highlight. See what happens. Song. Alexa, play Ghanaian music. It's Ghanaian. The playlist most played in Prime on Amazon. Music. Alexa, play Nigerian music. Play Nigerian music. There you go. You see, okay. it doesn't play Ghana music. Ghana is not currently. Alexa, play. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Yeah. I can't get it anywhere. Alexa, play Adina. Alexa, play Shata. Sorry, I don't know that. Play Ethia. Sorry, I don't know that. Play Stephanie Benson. Music by Stephanie Benson. <laughs> Music station based on Stephanie Benson. I'm sorry for me. I was just saying something. Paul Simon Bracelet. Here's something. Alexa, play Kwame Eugene. Shuffling songs by Kwame Eugene on Amazon Music.
So um, those who don't know who what Alexa is, Alexa is a digital assistant made by um, I think it was invented by Amazon, and um, yeah, you can tell Alexa to do a lot of things on the internet by two voice commands, and uh, it's an AI system that is artificial intelligence. So yeah, um, Stephanie Benson asked Alexa to play some music, and uh, apparently this type of music or the genre of music, which is high life wasn't registered in Amazon's database and it was also not, um, couldn't play Ghanaian music because it wasn't recognized and, you know, it became a conversation with, um, Chris Yawaji and he had, um, one dude called, um, I, um, Apia Sai. He is, um, um, he works with Kisima. Kisima is a radio monitoring, um, digital company who, um, you know, traces the number of times a radio station plays in music so that uh, they could um, take royalties or, uh, you know, get uh, royalties from the radio station. So, yeah, that's what um, Apia Sign had to say. So, yes, government, you know, account. And I feel also say um, organizations are uh, uh, AM music, musicians, you know, at the should also have some of these things in mind. So, so I don't know how long that this thing um, has been there, but it looks like it's been there forever. And but the other question is, is it that the leaders be um, in front of the music organizations? No. And you can, know, and, uh, or can be as a music. Music. Yes. Is it okay. that they don't know, say, high life is not one of the, I don't want to say genres, but so I would intentionally say major genres now. Mm. I was stream, streaming platforms and so on. Uh, mm. And if they know, what measures are they taking? Because I even feel say, this is why we get a lot of Ghanaian music, musicians saying, um, Omu ye Afro pop. Because mm -hmm. when they are submitting, I mean, who I like, what is close to high life is what I will choose. So I keep doing that and it gets to a point that, oh, this I'm saying, then I mean, yeah. Me me high life, now, I will find it. So they say, me Afro beat, me mm -hmm. Afro pop. And when you even deep down, you realize that this Afro pop, no, according to what I have read, no, it's not even Ghanaian. They are attributing it to Nigerians now. Mm. So that is why, as I say, you acquire second option too. Mm, uh, when it comes to Afro pop, you acquire second option. Okay. So it will always be a Nigerian first. Mm. Then I yang the other alternative. So a question came up where was um, a sign was asked if um, Afro pop is is the, why is it that um, high life is not recognized internationally? And he made a very um, important point where he said that, uh, you know, we have this camera and music like in Ghana and uh, they need to have a, you know, united front and make the high life music known to these streaming services so that yeah. at least um, when our artists go to, you know, upload their music on these streaming services and they ask them um, which form of genre or which genre do they do, it wouldn't be hard for them to identify it as high life. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, when Berma was also speaking, he said that he tried uploading his music on is it Apple Music in Netherlands and... Uh, he said the genre is high life and he didn't have any genre in high life so he was going to Aww. have a meeting with them and yeah, talk about it. And uh, I mean, in my opinion, I think that it's the right channel where we want to have a music identity as Shatawali and I mean the planet on this show and other music um, stakeholders have in mind to make her life, restore her life, and I think this is the right channel. And uh, I think that's all I have to say on this issue. Uh, so let's move on to the next video. Yeah, I forgot to <laughs> introduce the pundits of that day. Um, I'm really sorry about that, uh, and I apologize very deeply. So um, the pundits were Arnold Asamoah do. Michael, um, Mr. Christianist and uh, Mr. Sokri Safo. So, another Samuel Bedu is an entertainment journalist. We already know him, Shatawale, to, uh, to City 50 Petros. And, and uh, Mr. Christianist, I think he's owner of uh, Excel, Media Excel, yeah. And I think he's a 
He's a promoter, he's also a talent manager and the likes. I mean, he's a connected guy in the um, entertainment industry. Wow. Um, so be careful. Um, it's, uh, I think, uh, a government representative now. He is a virtual filmmaker and uh, he's part of the um, film uh, executives in Ghana. Ola Michael is also a film, uh, was a filmmaker or a cinematographer, I don't know. And um, he was a uh, did a trade in uh, the Kumawood industry and uh, he is now a radio presenter at Nature Fair. And uh, yeah, I think uh, these are the people who were as pundits. And uh, yeah, um, the next topic they talked about was Tiwa Savage. I mean, <laughs> last week was a very, was a very um, interesting week. In Nigeria, I mean, in Ghana, we had the arrest of Shatawali funny face and the likes, and medical. And uh, in Nigeria, there was a sex state leak um, of Tiva Savage and her partner. Oh. And the funny thing is, not even a funny thing, the thing is, she actually said it that someone is trying to blackmail her. Oh. And he told the person, when it, and he told the person to leak it if he wants to do it. Oh, and, uh, yeah. You know, um, I don't know whether he or she, but essentially if she or he wants to do it, or it's already preferred pronouns, who's to do it? And, uh, yeah, she, uh, she said it uh, in an interview with uh, America. And uh, so we actually knew that something like this would happen. And, I mean, I respect her courage and all that. And I think she lost some endorsement deals out of it, and uh, some people are saying it's, it's um, stage. Others are saying it's not stage. Honestly, I don't care. I don't want. I didn't want to talk about it when it leaked. That's why I never made a video about it. And uh, you know, now I'm compelled to talk about it. So yeah, let's. Um, you know, and uh, another thing is, um, she just released an EP. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, that was the topic of discussion. Mm -hmm. Those of you who are thinking like that, mm -hmm. saying, mm -hmm. say, mm -hmm. Tiwa Savage, mm -hmm. eh, oh, to me, release it to promote an album. Don't make that mistake. We are making that mistake. I, 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 I'm, I'm glad you want to make that mistake. Me see, and you're making that mistake. Tiwa Savage. It is not true. Just like Coca Cola, if you make, make adverts today. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Tiwa Savage. Uh -huh. Look, without this. Uh -huh. Don't you stuck in a pill? The album was doing this. The uh -huh. album was doing well. It was doing well. Do it was doing well before it. It was doing well. Do you are doing well. Of it's worth doing. You are Whatever lying. Conversation. You, you, are, you are lying. So like, oh, will is it? Oh, will is this have video where to lose for uh, endorsement? Those lucrative endorsement oh, no, for what? Hey, hey, hey! I want to move. I want to move. I need. I need to talk. Huh? I need to talk. Go ahead. I need to talk. Go and ask your grandfather. I need to talk to me now. Just say, what do you want to say? Bunch of old men fighting over <laughs> sex tape and gay system. <laughs> yeah, so it was a heated argument on the uh, on the show, and uh, uh, yeah. So um, before I go, I go on further. I would like to um, play a video of um, I think it started with Oda Michael, and see and make a commentary about it. Because see, Uch, check in the record, check watch the uh, social dispositions and everything. Why you be BS similar to that before? And I check, I didn't find anything close to that one. Two, why would a woman with a child want to show BBC just to promote a song? My dream one from all angles, I don't see why a woman like that would do BBC. But I think that Unim. You build a defensive wall. How you, you want to feel about it. So there's a wise saying, say, if you go through something and you don't have a solution, just develop an attitude for it. And that yeah, so Mr. Michael was on the view that um, she didn't, it wasn't a stunt, and uh, she actually did what she wanted to do. 
if that is the case, if she she did um, pay for the money for the sex tape, it would have gone on and on and on and on and on and on. And on. <laughs> and then she had to psych herself for a tough skin and all that. Tiwa will not do a stanta. Nadeja. Better. Like, I mean, it, it makes no sense. But me my example. D Black. Ni sex tape APA. Right? Me patcho, correct me if I'm wrong. Sa state, sa sex tape, no? A lot of us, and me, I believe it was a PR stunt. Because after sa tape, no, was released, no? Guess what? Here we are, D Black was here. Yeah. D Black is one of the most hard working artists in 2021. Sex tape no, of D Black, no, 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 Exactly. Get, yes. That is how you calculate a stunt to actually push a project. We no any stunt. Unim, you are talking about um, how a guy, I didn't copy a snap. Maybe mm -hmm. little, we didn't say. Guy, you know, a young exuberant guy, and uh, <laughs> when you opportunity to actually do something with Tiwa, into or senior man, the friends, one or two friends, will more snap. Unfortunately, baby, you're very and press, press, and the cobra public. And so, realizing the mistake, oh, yeah, it was too late. How on earth would anybody sit and when him? I don't know if you followed, but according to your interview with Angie Martinez, mm -hmm. there was a Nigerian blogger who said, Oh, boy. There was no tape, and that's the or just to promote the, the song. You heard it now. The video has been actually been released. Somebody else is somewhere and saying, Oh, oh, release a video. No, to put, I mean, come on, I is it, is it a right thinking way at this stage? That's how come that's how come I'm giving you that example about the black tape. No, and no, no, to me, say it was well, who won the way yeah, who bear money, then you want to exactly. So why would Tiwa, a highly respectable artist, a mother, a role model, say, okay, because I'm promoting a song or promoting an album, you know, but the message said, hey, Tuja. But, and how soon it? So Mr. Samuel Beidou was agreeing with Ola Michael and uh, saying that uh, Tiwa Savage um, didn't release it herself and it was blackmailers and, I mean, what makes it genuine. And he also cited that uh, So great, by microphone and I mean to you, mean to you. Like I say, I've been told that, and uh, um, sometimes, over can you maybe, young Ken Wachia, who's a great year there. Mikai Miss Bell, uh, issue be at uh, Oladam School, no? uh, yeah, uh, Katanga, 
Enya katanga. Enya katanga. Enya katanga. Enya katanga. Enya at a point, me kai pass as a boy by no. Ne be no blame me, Miss Bell. Say or non so no, and near more she share, yeah. And a coban is say, and at that time, no, me kai near me kai. Now I felt for Miss Bell, say, as a performer, our no echo a co performer. Na a binomo, sebi sebi, or mudium say, hm, no more a co attack, and they be no ably mono. Say, send your dress, and send your yen in your ma, and then you crawl to cramp on people were using it against her. Say, no, the provoke crop for say, or moon yen, sir. Miss Bell, I think, say, having been a victim of some of these things before, no, uh, you should have even sympathized with uh, her. Um, blackmailing, for me, I think Tiwa did the right thing. Mm? Tiwa did the right thing by coming out to even. Say it, yeah, it happened. I didn't know, yeah, but you're no kunipa na. No, no, no kunipa. But the whole world actually be possible. Tiwa was not killing. And then, me nya shua say send your car, say me nso no. Um, na e ye bibi a washa dasi ye kwa ko record do bibi ni e di akwa ko tu bibi na ye bibi. No, maybe you got a guy who was a bit over ambitious and the bi a bi sa say phone ne kro mu ye di chwe chwe sa ni amanu kro ye den. But enye si e we, I think say kwezi. Uh, yeah, yeah, and sympathize with uh, Tiwa. Uh, it been CBM, we been so fine. Yeah, this year, yeah, 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 so the uh, be on fine. Yeah, this year, uh, being over ambitious and picking phones and recording things. I don't know what it is for. Okay, so, um, um, Mr. Sokosafo also was uh, sympathizing with Tiwa and Tiwa was savage and uh, oh. he went further. And I mean, he said something about Miss Bell, but um. During the show, um, the host, Mr. Chris Abwaji, read a post of, um, about Ms. Bell, where Ms. Bell uh, made a comment about this issue and implying that Tiwa Savage did it as a prank. I mean, it was just an insinuation, oh. but the way she spoke, um, the way she typed, it was an insinuation, and yeah, it looked like a shake. So, um, according to Mr. Chukwesafo, an incident happened some time ago where Ms. Bell went to perform in the uh, University of um, Science and Technology, Kwame Kuma University of Science and Technology in Kumasi, and uh, she was uh, sexually harassed by the, the crowd, the mob, and uh, he is saying that uh, even when that, um, that thing happened, people were criticizing Ms. Bell to be a promiscuous person, she didn't know how to dress and all that, that's why that happened to her, and uh, he was the one sympathizing with her at that time. So oh. he is shocked that uh, Ms. Bell would, you know, turn around and do this to Tiwa Savage. And, uh, yeah, so basically, what is, he even says some problems that uh, if it's not you in the shoes, um, if you are not the one in the shoes, you think it's, like, a good thing. So something like that. So, yeah, I mean, he was also sympathizing with Ms. Bell. And, Hey, sorry. Tiwa Savage. Why not? Me nipa 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 the orgasmic nipa 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 it's it's it does sometimes you know and a bull margin at the more level a yeah obi no yeah i rabbi a song young gabin was so and uh naivety only him why he be be sad yeah fine you better me the but a brand an international brand such as tiwa savage there when the bama crack or shed them out mobile phone cry there on panel so sex you had a mobile phone the idea so and you know, I will be quite over put yourself to this radical because media, me, I'm, I'm a, one of her big fans, and if, sometimes we'll post to her, they'll cry, I'm, I'm, and she represents one of that African artists, uh, one more big repetition, a big role model for the younger generation. And see, I've been brought my dream in so say, irrespective of that, whoever that is blackmailing, and as we be be sano, 
they go ahead and say, because somebody is blackmailing me, let the person blackmail you. Let the person blackmail you. Don't go ahead and post it. Irrespective of whatever will be the person blackmail. Let the person blackmail you. And Kosiaga. You report to the authorities. And it's not police ni security saba we wanna. And that's how the monkey can get no. Olamaki will be the yawa and young who to say first be wo. And then will be your self step ewo kruma, not the blackmailua. You have every right to go to police station and report. Security expert that they will deal with the situation. It's there. And yeah, be beer. And it's a bit of 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 Something happened where people they talk for them uh, emotions inside that uh, people should have say that be the right thing. Oh. I mean, what he was saying, I was just uh, listening. Like all I saw was someone in his emotion making a lot of bad tracks. I mean, not making sense to me. <laughs> so I mean, him he's saying that uh, why should you um, record um, a sex tape and. I mean, they even had backlashes from the people in the studio saying that, I mean, they even do it. So, I mean, the fact that you don't see any, you have any trail in it or anything like that doesn't mean others don't have. I mean, it's, it's a private thing and people do it. And um, all I'm saying is, um, I mean, sometimes when you are making such um, claims or you are making such analysis, you should take your time. I mean, you can, you can uh, stand, you can use that same, you can have that same point and communicate it effectively, not in that um, stage. But anyway, yeah, that's what he says. And basically saying that he doesn't understand why the youth would uh, film their, I mean, the younger generation will film their stuff and put it on their phones and all that. It doesn't make sense. And I mean, he doesn't see any appealing it. I mean, most of his were criticisms. I mean, he claimed that he's a fan of Tira Savage and he's shocked at this. I mean, I mean, I get it. I mean, someone was such a man should be careful when it comes to these things. But, I mean, in the heat of the moment, things like this happen. I also used to criticize things like this, too. <laughs> I won't say anything. So, that's what he said. So yeah, during the discussion, um, you know, the, since uh, it was the week where it had shut up, one medical and uh, funny face um, in the police custody, so um, they, you know, had to, you know, make a, make a comment about it. And uh, uh, a point that came out was that uh, um, funny face had a view, let's, let's watch the video. Uh, Eh uh, se court ma order some fun in cause acratic hospital for examination. Yeah. Na se no mo di ni chin 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 mo nya bed. Oh. Ah. Oh, udo si. Eh what? Oh. Omo nche ni ne mo we ni bi mo. Ah, we di ni chin mo nya bed. Omo go to the matter. This is not funny matter. Eh sakatu omo di ni kwa ankafo. Ana hospital ankasa. Hospital. Eh? Hospital. I'm the one who's a psychiatric... Uh, My information is that I'm the one who's a psychiatric... 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 Oh... Uh, this time, I'm the one who's a psychiatric... First, the main psychiatric hospital... I'm the one who's a psychiatric... I'm the bed... And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and now, what I understand is... I'm the one who's a psychiatric... My diagnosis is... Um, he has a form of bipolar... Uh, that is what the information I have. Mm -hmm. He has a form of a bipolar. Bed, uh, in bed. I think, and uh, because in bed, they have to take him back to the police hospital. Oh. And I think he's still at the police hospital. Wow. <laughs> No, no, no. Okay. Uh, yeah. But you see, um, no, dear, no, I mean, you can say drug use and so. Uh, yeah, smoking, eh, uh, uh, And quickly, let me just say mm. this thing. You know, 
when funny face and make yeah so um according to mr chris Abwaji, um he claims that um when uh, f um i mean when funny faces issue came up he, he said that uh he got information that um funny face when the judge told um when the judge subjected him to psychiatric um, treatment funny face and his family couldn't get bed and um, the psychiatric um, hospitals and they were roaming about the whole of Akka for a bed in 2021 uh, hmm. anyway so yeah that's what he said and uh yeah, he was diagnosed with bipolar. That's his exclusive um, information. So, yeah, that is what was. That's what he said about funny face. Right, medical issue. You know, seriously, I don't know Ghana now brandishing you know, the reason for it. I don't know what the gun was meant for. I don't know, say a real gun or not. I can't tell because I've not felt it. But I. I've seen similar guns may used to be that for props in film where a used to gas in the cartridge side I saw my myself like so I don't know which gun he was using though but yeah but the way at the speed and the interest with which the police is working now I will plead with them and she be I know there were electoral violence be a for I think they should pay attention to that one because I want to nip a we are and she be answer no yet he mini says I saw more brandish gun I for more to to pre prank of four cars so I I mean yen yen pay attention to her okay you know why I'm saying that right I don't know because here to me yes selective justice and maybe a chem were I think in 2014 hola Michael yes sir Kweku. yes sir see you now oh see see you oh Whatever, one minute to count. And check me out. I see you at this UOP coffee watching. Come on, say, or baffle from the cheer cock, and then in the dean bar, oh yeah, Juma, oh yeah, Juma, and be never pay you. And now the full So good. So, yeah, my last commentary on this edition of um, Entertainment Video and Peace of Abu is um, which was on the 23rd of um, October. And, uh, yeah, this is the question I've also been asking all the time. Go and ask your grandfather. Uh, it looks like um, the police, or uh, should I say, the justice system in Ghana affects only some people, some classes. You know, Aesop said it in his favor that uh, he made this quote that uh, we, uh, we, <laughs> he said something about yeah, we jail the, we imprison the petty thieves and, uh, or kill the petty thieves or something like that. And, uh, we put the, the, the big ones in offices. I mean, I'm just paraphrasing now. My understanding to that, I don't know, I've forgotten the exact, um, quote. Anyway, um, so, yeah, this is my question I've been asking all the time. Is that, are they being selective with their, um, justice of law enforcement and they are being deliberately harsh on people? Or it's just, um, they doing their, their stuff. I don't know about, um, the police. I don't know what they do. I don't know how they do it. But it looks like a lot of big men, in quote, a lot of big women, in quote, a lot of politicians, have been doing the same thing these people have been doing and they've been go they they went they've gone free. Oh. So a, a minister or an MP, you know, brandishing a gun in public. People were shot at police stations. And we still don't have anybody held accountable for it. But they were fast and quick to arrest these people as scapegoats. You know, what I'm saying is, as it has started, you people will be thinking, oh, it's normal, it's normal. When it comes to you, that is when you know that it's not normal. Yeah! You know, I have this saying, which goes like this. People are mad because they are being oppressed, but they are not mad because there is oppression. Think about it. Anyway, this is your boy Bobby Kid, aka Bobby the Low, aka the Mag Made You Fresh with a Fresh Formula, aka Mr. AKA, aka, and I've got the top pissed at me by James. Hasta la fiesta, I'm out dismissing. See you later. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Audio jungle.